Hey there! In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to run Windows 98 games on your Apple Silicon Mac using Macbox and 86box. This guide was inspired by the guide created by YouTube channel CR Tech, so make sure to check out their channel. Link is in the description of this video. Alright, let's check it out. So 86box is an emulator that runs older operating systems and software designed for IBM PC systems. Macbox is a manager app that makes the whole setup process for 86box much easier. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my web browser and we're going to search for Macbox. We want this top link here, Macbox for 86box. It's a GitHub page. The website is github.com slash moon if slash Macbox. Go to releases and we're going to download the latest release, which as of recording this video is Macbox for 86box 0.5.5. Once downloaded, I'm going to go to finder and go to my downloads folder and double click macbox.app.zip to unzip it. Next, I'm going to drag the Macbox app into my Applications folder. Next, go to your Applications folder and find Macbox and launch it. If you get an alert that says Macbox not opened, Apple cannot verify, that's okay. Go to System Settings, go to Privacy and Security, scroll all the way down, click Open Anyway, Open Anyway, and then type in your password. So this is Macbox, and it's pretty much going to help us set up 86box to run Windows 98. So the first thing we're going to do is install 86box. So down here you can see in red it says 86box is not installed. So click this little play button next to it, and then click install. We also need to download the ROMs that will allow us to run Windows 98. So also click install where it says 86box ROMs. Once the downloads are complete, we can exit out of this version manager window and it's time to set up our machine. So I'm going to get rid of this and we want to click add VM to create a new machine. Let's give it a name and then click add. Next, click this little configuration icon right here. For machine type, we want 1996 socket 7 dual voltage. For machine, we're going to do i430 VX shuttle HOT557. For CPU type, we're going to do Intel Pentium MMX. Frequency is going to be 166. And for memory, we're going to do 16 megabytes. Next, we can go to display. For video, we're going to do PCI S3 Vision 964 Diamond Stealth 64. Next, click configure and make sure that we give it four megabytes for its memory size. Next, you can go to input devices and under mouse, we want PS slash two mouse. Next, go to sound. For sound card number one, we want ISA 16 Sound Blaster 16. Next, we can go to network. For mode, we want slurp. And for adapter, we want PCI, AMD, PCNet, PCI2. For ports, we can leave it as is. Next, let's go to storage controllers. For HD controller, we want internal device. And for FD controller, we also want internal device. Next, let's go to hard disks. Click new. And this is where we're going to choose how big of a hard drive we give Windows 98. So I'm going to click specify to choose where this hard drive is going to live. I'm going to put it in my documents folder and save it as Windows 98. Then click save. For size, I'm going to give it 850 megabytes and then click OK. You don't have to do 850. Um, you can always do less, you can always do more. Next, I'm going to go to floppy and CD-ROM drives. For floppy drives type, we want 3.5 1.44M. Under CD-ROM drives, select this top disabled one. For bus, we want ATAPI. And for type, we're going to do 86box 86B CD 1.0. 
Once we've done that, we can go to other peripherals. If you want to add a postcard, you can check that here. And once we have all of our settings the way we need them, we can click OK. So now we're ready to set up Windows 98. Let's click Start VM. Once it boots up, press the Delete key, and you should get this screen here. Select Standard CMOS Setup. We can set the date and time if we need to. Press Escape to go back. Next, we're going to go to BIOS Features Setup and press Enter. Go down to Boot Sequence, and then we're going to use the plus and minus keys to go to CD-ROM CA. Press Escape. Go to PNP slash PCI configuration and click enter. For PNP OS installed, we're going to hit the minus key to change it to yes. Hit escape. And once we do that, we're ready to load up Windows 98. Once the download is complete, we're going to go back to 86 box. And then we're going to click this little CD icon down here. Select image. Go to our downloads folder and select our Windows 98 ISO. Next, we can go to Save and Exit Setup and hit Enter. And then we want Boot from CD-ROM. And we want Start Windows 98 Setup from CD-ROM. So it says, welcome to setup. The setup prepares Windows 98 to run on your computer. To set up Windows now, press enter. I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna select configure unallocated disk space. It looks like since I'm using a drive over 512 megabytes, it wants to know if I want to enable a larger disk support. So let's go with yes. And then it should say setup will restart your computer now. So click enter to restart. We're going to select boot from CD-ROM again. And then again, we're going to choose start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. When it says to continue, press enter. We're going to hit enter. And now we've made it into the Windows 98 setup. So we have full control of the mouse and you can see the mouse is kind of stuck in this window. You can get it out by pressing FN F8 F12. You can also go to view and make it a resizable window. And we're pretty much ready to set up Windows 98. So let's go through it. The entire installation process should take about 15 to 20 minutes. This time we're going to click boot from hard disk. This part of the setup should take about 10 minutes, and once it's complete, it will ask you to restart. Again, we want to boot from hard disk this time. And now this is the last part of the setup before we can start using Windows 98.
boot from hard disk. And now we're running Windows 98, so we can choose a password. All right, so here's our beautiful Windows 98 desktop. Let's try running some games. I used to play a game as a kid called Hot Wheels Crash. Let's see if we can get that working. So once you have a game ISO downloaded to your Mac, we can go to 86 box and we want to click the CD in the bottom left hand corner and we want to load an image. Here's the Hot Wheels Crash ISO. I'm going to select it and click Open. So you can see it'll launch the installer for Hot Wheels Crash. I'm going to click Install. All right, the game is installed. Let's see if it works. So basically in this game you need to like destroy everything in one fell swoop. So I get to aim the car at like a bunch of junk and try to do my best to destroy all of it. Still got it. 